everyone, this is Amy with Ketolicious Life and tonight I am making for my sinful sides keto breadsticks. I just wanted to show you this is the recipe. It is from Ruled Me and as you can see these are the ingredients and I just wanted to show you how you can make it you know a couple different ways. I love the cinnamon sugar option. Definitely gonna have to try that sometime. And they're they're really like making a fathead pizza um, except that you're adding a few other ingredients and you're cutting them and just shaping them into breadsticks. Now, I don't know about you, but I loved having breadsticks whenever we would get pizza. Breadsticks were kind of one of my favorite things over, even over the pizza. So these are a great side to have with a salad for lunch or to have with your fathead pizza or even to serve with, say, a keto spaghetti. So this is my sinful sides, and I think it's gonna be delicious. All right, so the first step is we are going to cream together one egg and three ounces of cream cheese. All right, so I have the egg and cream cheese mixture here. It says just blend that until slightly combined. So I'm gonna go ahead and just transfer that over to here. Set that aside. I'm gonna work on our dry mixture. So for the dry mixture, we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of almond flour, one tablespoon of psyllium husk powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, And I'm going to be doing these Italian style breadsticks, but you can also do cheesy style, you can do cinnamon and sugar um, breadsticks with butter. Like how delicious would that be? So we're going to go ahead and do Italian tonight because I'm going to use these to go along with um, one of my cauliflower uh, pizza crusts. So we're going to go ahead and do two tablespoons of this delicious Italian seasoning. one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and of course we're using pink Himalayan salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now if you like it extra cheesy, you can go ahead and add in some Parmesan cheese too your dough base mix. For that, we're gonna do a quarter of a cup. Like that. Now we'll go ahead and just combine this all up. Give it a nice mix. You can kind of um, get any lumps out of your almond flour at this time. And I've even seen where some people will, um, you know, like if they have a Nutribullet or something like that, they'll blend up their almond flour even into a finer um, flour. So that might even make it turn out better. But I'm just doing it the easy way here, just the quickest way possible. Next, we're going to measure into a bowl, microwavable bowl, two cups of mozzarella cheese. There's one, and there's two cups. So it says to microwave this for about 20 second intervals until it is sizzling. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So now we're going to add to our dry mixture the mozzarella cheese. can be very, very hot, so just be very, very careful. Get as much as I can out of this bowl. Very 
We're going to also add the egg and the cream cheese mixture. And now we're going to start mixing this up. Once we get it mixed, we will start using our hands to kind of knead it. It's very similar to just making a fathead pizza crust, but we're just adding a few extra tasty ingredients. And it feels pretty warm, so I feel like I can get my hands in there and get messy. I'm just folding, kind of picking up some of those ingredients on the bottom, stick those in and fold it, fold it over, fold it over and give it a push and just keep kneading it that way. Now I did not have parchment paper, unfortunately I forgot to pick some up. So what we're going to do is just do our best to flatten this out on a greased um, pan. So I'm going to get that ready and then we're going to get that finished up. just try to stretch this out as much as possible. Ultimately, if you had two pieces of parchment paper, you would sandwich these in between and you would then be able to roll them out. So unfortunately, since I don't have that tonight, I'm just winging it. That's what you do. Just try to get it as flat as we can. It's not too hard to work with. If you've ever worked with dough, you know it can be a challenge to get spread out anyway. So forgive me for not having the proper tools to demonstrate this. I'm just spreading it out, working it out as far as I can. So I got it rolled out as good as I can here. And I'm gonna make some room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go halfway, halfwise this way. Well, that wasn't the straightest line in the world. And then I'm going to go this way. So we want to cut these into I'm just going to separate these out like this. what our pizza sticks are going to look like and we're going to pop these in the oven um, and we're going to cook them at 400. It says bake for 13 to 15 minutes at 400 on the top rack until crispy. So here we go. We're going to see how they come out. This is my first time making these guys so I'm hoping they come out good. Alright so in they go. For 13 I'll check them and get them nice and crispy brown. And here they are. I did top them while in the oven with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And I have dipping sauce ranch and uh, pizza sauce here for dipping. 
So, my wonderful husband Ed and my wonderful daughter Ava are going to come and taste test for us. Okay guys, so Ava and Ed are gonna taste test these. Okay, so they're gonna taste test it and let me know how I did. Tip do you want? I'm not gonna have, I'm gonna just tear a piece off. Okay, tear a piece off. You gotta give me your honest opinion. I don't like not be mad. <laughs> I like a lot of ooh, that cheese. Very good. Does it taste like tastes like bread? Hmm, they look I'm amazing. Sorry for the messy kitchen. This was the aftermath of keto bread sticks behind Ed. A ranch. Are they soft and chewy? Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Mmm. That sounds good. I, I haven't tasted it yet. They have cheese in the Yep. I added cheese in the middle and on the top. So I'm going to put some more pizza sauce on it. Very good. All right, guys. Go back the last time. Hold on. You got to taste it yourself. I don't want to be on camera because I haven't been feeling well all day, so I look horrible. So I'm going to taste off camera. Here we go. Mmm. Amazing, huh? Oh, wow. Tell it to you. I like them. I like them. This too. is very much unlike Fathead Pizza Crust because it tastes, it just tastes different though. It tastes more like a really good breadstick. It does. Mmm. It doesn't taste keto, it tastes cheesy. Yeah, very cheesy. Very good. Now, the other recipe on here is for cinnamon sugar. So you could do the same recipe, but do the cinnamon sugar version, and that would be amazing. So I'm gonna have to try that one next. All right, guys, well, that's it for me. That's the Sinful Side collab. Thank you, Sandy and Heather, for putting that collab together. Really appreciate it, and thanks for including me. It's been a lot of fun. So you guys have a great one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, guys.